y'all welcome back to my channel Jasmine Noel TV I am Jazz of course and today I am doing a tester first time review on this baby right here so if you don't know what it is you probably can tell by the title this is a magnetic eyeshadow from MAC the Spellbender collection eyeshadow yeah I got me a hold of one so I'm going to be testing out this for you guys and seeing does a magnetic eyeshadow really work? Like what's magnetic about it? So we're going to get right into that right now. Alright so I haven't, uh, have I opened this? I might have opened this. I got this almost a month ago. Mm, there's some foundation on the back of my hand. Anyway, I opened this about a month ago and... I didn't test it though. This is my first time testing it with you guys. I opened it just to see what color it was and then like put it back in the thing. It was a gift. So when you open it, ooh, this is what it looks like. Don't know if it's focusing, but this is what it looks like. And you can see the ridges in it. This is the color high power. Yes, high power. So it's like a brownish color and then like the ridges in the inside are like a pewter color. Um, if some, if y'all know what pewter is, that's like the only way I can describe this for you guys. So yeah, and we're just going to do a finger swatch first. Ooh, ooh. So this is what it looks like on my finger. I know that's not the swatch, but what's interesting is that look. Let's see if I can bring this up and show you guys when I swatch it. You see those ridges? Those ridges are still there. Like that doesn't mess up when you um, like get the pigment or get the product either on your brush or on your finger. So that's that's really cool. And I'm just gonna swipe this on the back of my hand. It's not the greatest in pigment on the back of my hand. Like I'm kind of. I mean, it's cool, but I have foundation on, on my hand on this side too. But over. Ooh, is that the middle finger? Lord Jesus, sorry, Lord. Um, but, but yeah, if you can see, guys, if, if you guys can see that, that is the finger swatch right there. But that's so cool. I think, um, because it's magnetic, that the ridges and the pigment and the product they stick together, so that whichever way you move it, like whichever way you mess with it. The magnets are clumping it together so it's the mold still stays. You know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out if I should prime my eyes. I did my face makeup already, so if I kinda of look scary like Like her makeup look good, but she missing something. Like yeah, I'm missing eyes. I'm missing all eyes up here. I did everything else, foundation. Um slight contour, slight highlight, nothing like too too much. But yeah, so if you guys were wondering what is going on, why am I like half complete? Because I wanted to do a look with this. So I left the eyes alone. Okay? Okay, so anyway, um, I don't even know what I was saying. Um, I don't know if I should prime my eyes or not. It has like concealer and foundation and then I went over it with a translucent powder. So like my concealer and stuff, it's set. And normally I use a concealer for a primer. I don't really have an eyeshadow primer, so I guess it's kind of primed. So note that my eyes are semi-primed. I'm going to go in. <clears throat> yeah, I wish y'all. Y'all probably probably like, I wish you would like hurry up, go in. Um, so yeah, just to show y'all again how I'm like tapping and like spreading it onto the brush and like it's still staying, which is really cool. The mold is still staying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. Okay, so like it's pouring out, but see how it's like still like clumped? Like, oh, I don't know how to angle this for you guys. See if I like, if I knock it back in. Like I'm knocking it back in there, trying to, but it's not really working because it's happening. I have it at a tilted angle, but I'm knocking it back in, and you can tell it's like magnety. Like it's like it looks like sand, like that magnetic sand that y'all might have like seen before in stores. I'm just patting it back in there because it kind of fell out. So and it molds. It molds just like kinetic sand. So that's how to describe it. <laughs> And I'm just going to apply that onto my lid. Ooh. Oh, I'm playing music. Ah! Go ahead, Bianca girl. Bianca, love it. I love Bianca. No, it's the song that's playing. I like it. Faith in 
the brown skins. That was the name of the song. Anyway, padding, padding. <laughs> that is freaking pretty. Ah, do y'all see that? Like, do y'all get? Are y'all getting this? Like how I'm getting this? Jeez, Louise, man. That's gorge. I love this. It's coming up more so purpley on my eye than the brownish pewter color, which is absolutely fine with me because I think I like this purple color a lot better than the brownish color that it looks right here. So that's that's awesome. Um, I'm just going to do it on this eye. I'm kind of looking at my mirror right here, so excuse me on that. Alright, so I just packed it onto my eyelid, and this is how it looks, you guys. Isn't that so pretty? Like, so basically just pack it onto the brush, pack it onto your eye. I've just been tapping it, just like this. This is so pretty. God! And you know, purples are really hard to make, and like, um makeup manufacturing and product making all that technical stuff like um, purple eyeshadows is the hardest one to achieve just because of the color pigment and the colors that you have to mix to get purple so it's really hard but Mac come through Mac okay come through so I'm just gonna see how it goes like into the crease like can you blend it because it's magnetic will it clump together or will it like fade away so we're gonna test that out right now so I'm bring my mirror up some so it doesn't look like I'm looking too far down. So it it kind of looks like it's blending some, which is kind of surprising. Can you guys see how like my hands in my eye? It's kind of smoking out some, which is surprising because I've seen other tutorials on this. And a lot of it like brisked away or like brushed away because you know of its properties and whatnot and because it's magnetic so it either clumped together and didn't really want to blend out or smoke out or it like like brushed away because like it's just it just wasn't it just wasn't blendable you know but this is actually blending and it looks like I have like a transition color kind of sort of along with like more pigment on the lid and like I went in with a transition at first but no oh my goodness I'm gonna try this eye real quick so yeah y'all oh my goodness it, like it blends out it almost like it it gives you a transition color along with the pigment and the purpleiness of the sparkle color like I blended this out and I feel like I went in with a transition at first and it feels like I have like a darker color in like my outer V maybe I'm over exaggerating but honestly I do not hype a product that I will not like and I don't hype a product because of its brand okay that's first and foremost like just because it's MAC doesn't mean I'm hyping this up but I freaking love this I literally used just this one eyeshadow and it's delivering like this like it feels like I have like a whole smoky eye look going on with multiple different like eyeshadows that I had to use to achieve this but I only used just one and I feel like the pewter color that I was talking about in the ridges is coming through more in the transition color when you blend it out so that's amazing yeah um so that is how it looks I'm going to continue to do a look. I'm going to might as well, I might as well just do a look with this. And I'll be right back. And that is it. This is the finished look. Okay. And the only thing I did was add a little bit of black into my outer V area and just into the crease some. But other than that, this. Hold on. Let's, give, let's give some recognition to the brand right here. So this little baby right here deliver today okay today jazz gives her five out of five magnets on the refrigerator five out of five <laughs> five out of five she gets a five out of five today yes
Go out and get that eyeshadow if you can. I don't know if they still sell them anymore, so if they don't, by the time I post this, eh? Like, maybe you hit up your local, like, Amazon or eBay or something. Like, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, y'all, it's bomb. And they have so many other colors that I would be so excited to try them, so I hope they do sell them, because they have a pretty blue color. I would love to test that out. Um, but yeah. Like, comment, subscribe if y'all haven't already. If y'all watch this through and you're not subscribed to my channel, I'm gonna need y'all to go subscribe right now because you can't just watch my video and then like not subscribe, especially if you like it, especially if you're here at the end, especially if you gave it a thumbs up and you might have commented down below on how good I look. <laughs> okay. Y'all probably like. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I'm done. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this. Thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe. I'm Jasmine from Jasmine the Well TV, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.